All right, so often we encounter what's referred to as the sum of two cubes, and you're given a formula. It says, okay, if you add x cubed and y cubed, you can rewrite this as x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. My goal in this video is to match this formula, and it's easy to prove or at least represent how these multiply out to x cubed and y cubed, but that's not my goal here. My goal is just to show you uh, how this formula matches what's actually happening in a picture situation, or a physical geometric situation, I should say, a geometric situation with cubes. So, so let's, let's, let's model. Here, we have this blue cube and this red cube. Well, the blue, blue, clue, blue cube is 2 by 2 by 2, so it's a 2 cube. And we're adding a one cube, the red cube, to it, right? Imagine that we, the blue, cubes, blue cube is all by itself. We add the red cube in. Okay, this formula should describe this new weird cube shape right here. Uh, let's just go through and solve this for a moment. Two cubed is eight. One cubed is one. Okay, so we know the volume of the new cube should be nine. And that makes sense if you look at it, right? There are nine little cubes all added up that make this new shape, this sum of these two cubes, the red and blue. But when we factor all this stuff out, we're trying to describe, in this situation right here, what this shape really is. So let's model that. Two and two and one, x and y, that's three. Okay. And then we have x squared, so it's two squared, or two by two. And then we subtract x times y, or two by one. And then we add in 1 by 1 or 1 squared. Okay. So how is this actually modeling what's, what this shape is? Because there is a nice connection here. You might see it already. Well, let's look at this. Again, this first term, I think, it's best to say, or my way of understanding it, is this 3 represents the number of pieces, right? Or t number of pieces that make up this shape. And these are the types of pieces that make up the shape. So first of all, this says we have, when you add up these two cubes, what you're always going to get is three two by two cubes. And here they are. One, two, three. Okay. And then you're going to take away three two by one cubes from that. And then you're going to add back three one by one cubes, and you'll get the sum of these cubes. Let me show you what that looks like. That's because this is definitely, I think, more confusing for me than the difference of cubes. So first we start with three two by two pieces. One, two, three. But then we're going to take away three two by one shapes. So what's a two by one shape? Something like these two right here. That's two by one. So we're taking it away. Goodbye. Okay. We're taking away three of them. One, two, and three. Okay. Now we're going to add back three one by one cubes, these red ones right here. And what it's saying is if you put these things together, you'll get the sum of these two cubes, which is seen right here. So let's just arrange that. Put this cube here, right there. Things are looking good so far. And if you see that, let me just fix this one. Bring it to the front. Right, you can see that that does in fact make this cube shape right here. And what's so fascinating for me and what I'm, I'm trying to understand for myself is um, this pattern, right, is amazing because really this whole set of this formula, as, as nasty as it seems, it always describes the resulting shape for the sum of any two cubes. In fact, every two cubes, when we add them, follows this pattern. And that's fascinating. And the same thing is true for the difference of two cubes. Um, if you look at that video, that applies to all situations where we subtract two cubes. This formula describes the remaining shape for every situation. And that's really neat. So I hope this helped a little bit. Thanks.